Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I actually have the music muted because we were about to do the analysis, but my ISP is weird with Twitch. So instead, we're gonna do an Eden run here while we wait for the problem to be fixed. Um, last Eden run, look, there's nothing I can really say except for the fact that I'm extremely disappointed with myself for the way that that ended. Uh, we should have won, but uh, what can we do really except pick ourselves up? You know, we can't really like, you know, just sit in bed for two days and you know, cry about it and try to figure out where it went wrong. You know, what what do we do when we fall off the horse, Master Wine? That was the worst Michael Caine impression of all time. X9JHZQDL. We got Little Baggy and uh, Box of Spiders. Box of Spiders, I like. Little Baggy, I hate. Tears seem, oh, like, damage seems okay. It's kind of maybe being twisted a little bit by the fact that we have Pulse Worms, so our shots are looking bigger than they otherwise would, but, uh, Honestly, this is a pretty good start, especially considering that we've got HP to go along with it. Um, yeah, Rate of Fire actually seems great. A couple of spiders, or four spiders, every other room is pretty good. And if we get like a AAA battery, or a 9 volt, or something along those lines, we can start spawning these spiders every single room, and then it becomes like a better version of Guppy's head, or something like along those lines. Um, yeah, this this seems good. I mean, last room was great as well, and I, I lost it, so we're going to try to uh, avoid that. You know, you got to give people a chance to, to make up for their mistakes. You don't have to, but I, it's good practice, I think. Probably shouldn't have wasted, like, that spider that I wasted by having it kill a neutral fly. When we could really use it against gurglings here. It's alright, we can not get boxed in. There we go. Once we kill one, you know, a lot of the more mathematical concerns with fighting gurglings kind of go out the window. There we go. Now all we gotta do is stay away from this one. It's uh, more difficult than it looks, apparently. Or maybe I just handled it in a subpar fashion. Oh my god. I can't believe that this has somehow worked out for us. Help. My brain. I can't believe that we at least made it that long without getting hit. That was like a really poor strategic choice. But, oh, Jesus Christ, this is actually going bad. Let's not get too sour yet. You know, we lost our spirit art, but first floor, it's not that enormous of a concern. Just stay back. Don't let the flies get you down. Don't let the flies go down on me. Okay, let's um, make this work. Come on. HP. We still have to find our uh, item room. I just need to check on something on Twitter. Twitch support tweeted me something. What does it say? We're working to resolve service issues. That is okay. That is kind of what you expect at this point. I don't know if it's Twitch's issue, if it's my ISP's issue. Uh, you know, it is what it is, right? Like, you can't really get bent out of shape about it. Technical issues happen, and then, um, yeah, I think people are pretty understanding of like, Hey, you know, I'm here, but I uh, can't stream. So instead, I'm going to record a video. Ares is not, if you were being honest, probably the item that you're really expecting to fall in love with in there. I did walk into the, the Spike self-sacrifice self room in the hopes that it would actually work out for us. And it didn't, but uh, that's okay. Man, one bomb would be real useful. But instead, we're just going to head down to the next floor. And I'm a little bit concerned, but honestly, uh, not so much. As long as we don't completely screw it up on this floor, we should have a good chance of getting a deal with the devil. I'll admit, uh, a little bit scared to be dealing with... The, the cellar here, so we got like slightly more difficult enemies, but all we need to do is perform well on this floor and then it can carry us for quite some time. Obviously, we do want to go to the curse room, but we can't really afford to do so just yet. Oh, it's so easy to get trapped on this room. Ah! Uh, uh, what happened? I want to resist this narrative of like, wow, Northern Lion's really lost his Isaac Fu lately. Um, but let's, uh, all, all we can really do is, you know, accept we're slumping a little bit and then try to work past it, you know? Sometimes the, you know, the harder you squeeze a rope, the more it burns your hands. You gotta get, like, a loose grip going on it. Um, let's, let's be a little bit more, um, calm and considered and rational. And, uh, let's not freak out, okay? Everybody just relax a little bit. I'm gonna try it. I do not regret this decision. Not an enormous, uh, gain for us, but not a problem either. Probably should shoot this poop, but let's see what's in our item room first. Anemia. Anemic. Uh, it's, it's decent. At best, but, uh... This, combined with Ares, really gives us a nice suite of items that are, you know, largely useless. But, um, under certain conditions can be slightly better than useless. 
Uh, Aries in particular, if we get like a unicorn stump or something like that, can be a little bit more valuable. There we go. We got one penny there. A one penny, two penny, three o'clock rock doesn't really. That's a lazy reference. Don't don't reward me with that one, unless you really want to. Are we really gonna get like one cent here? Hey, I'll tell you what. Uh, because of the situation that we're in, I'm like, might as well go to the cursed room. We've taken red heart damage already, and we got two spirit hearts on it. Probably means we won't take red heart damage against our boss, uh, depending on what our boss is. Maybe a secret room here. That is bad luck. I mean, to be fair, there's probably like a lot of different rooms where the uh, secret room could intersect, but still, I was really hoping it would be there so we could at least have a chance to get into our boss trap room. And we're really getting up close and personal with these enemies that control space really well. Gurglings control space really well, and then we hit that big room, which was just, you know, surrounded by flies on all sides of it. Bad trip. Huge disappointment, man. Oh well. Um... Don't start panicking, stay strong. Shorty's at the door because they need more inspiration for their life, their souls, or their songs. They said, sorry, Mr. West is gone. Um, that's an original poem I wrote just now called uh, Gone, featured on Kanye West's 2005 album, Late Registration. Please. Oh, a full spirit heart saves me the need to buy a spirit heart. So the fact that we got some money out of it is just a nice bonus instead of like an integral part of our success. Don't know if I love those. I would love for you to die in a position that could give me something. And I guess you did die in a position that gave me a penny from that fire, but could have gotten it either way. All right, pin. Not bad. We got one spider from Box of Spiders. That's an enormous disappointment. But pin is an easy boss fight anyway. And we still do have that, like, you know, 60, uh, not 60, sorry, like 35% chance of getting a deal with the devil here. We know we're not going to take red heart damage against this boss. We're actually set up very nicely to be uh, not taking red heart damage against our next boss as well. So just getting a damage uh, bonus here is fine. We'll head down to the next floor. I'll atone for my sins and we'll uh, we'll get a deal with the devil here. And it won't be Krampus. Guaranteed. 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 Oh, okay. Well, that sorts that out. Obviously, we have to take Guppy's Paw. The question was whether or not we take gimpy along with it and uh obviously i've decided to go through with that um we've already gotten our deal with the devil here so actually if we take red hard damage on this floor it's not really that feasible because of the fact that uh you know taking red hard damage puts us very close to death but if we could take red hard damage on this floor and thereby like ruin our chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor uh i think we'd have a hundred percent chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor if we didn't take red hard if we fulfilled the normal con conditions of a deal with the devil there you know what like I, I am getting a little bit up my own ass right here with the strategy, but do you understand what I'm getting at? I'm, you can try to find an error in my logic, there may indeed be one. But since we got a deal with the devil that uh, does not count as having like gotten a deal with the devil because it was use of a red card or, or sorry, red chest or a joker card, um, why burn our free deal with the devil on a floor where we know our deal with the devil is going to contain nothing, right? It would probably be better for us to actually take red heart damage on this floor and thus guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil on the next floor. If that logic holds, does it? That's a very good question. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna do a little bit of, of exploration up here. By the way, uh, it is completely viable, I think, to go with um, Guppy's Paw over Box of Spiders. The only reason I didn't is because I was like, ah, I could use the damage. 2020 is such a huge item for us, obviously. So what am I what am I waiting for here? I mean, I'm, I guess I'm waiting to see if I lose the spirit heart naturally. If I lose the spirit heart naturally, then that's that's great in a weird way. Another thing we could do is go to the shop, uh, hurt ourselves, like hurt ourselves with red heart damage, two red heart damage, I guess I should say, and then buy a spirit heart. And by buying that spirit heart, we'll protect ourselves for the next floor and also on the boss fight, so we won't be in as tight of a spot there. I think that's probably the ideal way to do it. Um, it's the first time I've really gone balls deep on this strategy, so I'm interested to see how it works out. So we're gonna, you know, walk in here. Then we're gonna buy this. I mean, obviously we won't be able to get anything else. Oh, I mean, I guess we could now, but um, that's that's the principal problem. But this should mean that we're probably, at least like odds are, we're not gonna get a deal with the devil here. And then we'll get one on the next floor. Now watch, the odds will be in our favor, unfortunately, and we'll get one here. And it'll completely fuck up this strategy that I've worked for. Uh, but still, 2020, plus a tears upgrade, plus Guppy's Paw, 
plus Gimpy, plus whatever we get from our boss. This is a really great floor. I mean, 2020 itself is amazing, and then to get the tiers upgrades to go along with it is awesome. Are you a wizard? Of course, I'm I'm wary about squandering this. We have we squandered our last uh, great run, that Ipecac run with triple shot. The more I think back on that run, well, first off, the more disappointed I get, I get. But the second uh, thing is like, I'm like, shit, man, I really just should not have used the scissors. Like, it made my hitbox so unfamiliar to me that it was uh, suboptimal. But it's all right. That's life. Uh, you know, you make mistakes, and then you. Uh, Recover from them or you don't sometimes I suppose there we go found our secret room secret room gives us uh, enough money to actually buy something from the shop But I don't think there was anything really on the shop I was that interested in this way we can get an arcade on the next floor and getting an arcade on the next floor seems really useful so that we can have a uh, A good chance of being able to use gimpy as much as possible, so I think it's probably in our best interest to do that So we're hoping for strangely enough no deal with the devil Little Chad is not my favorite pickup, but it, it does synergize well with a number of other options. So, you know, we'll, we'll see if we get those options in the form of Dark Bomb. We still have half a Spirit Art protecting us for the next floor. Please, no deal with the Devil. Ah, we fucked it. We gotta deal with the Devil. Just run. Unless I wanted to use Gup. I started a joke. <laughs> Started the whole world laugh. I forgot little chub. That's what happened there. I got too up my own ass about it. I was like, gotta get out of here because the deal with the devil's coming. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, my, my brain is not in the right place today. And I know that there's going to be people who are mad about it. I still remember the day that we forgot the, the soul on the first floor and people were furious. So I expect that this will be even worse. But, you know, maybe you want me to have a less easygoing attitude about it. You know, but the, the past is the past, man. Even if it was just like seconds ago. I'm angry at myself for being an idiot and being somewhat careless, but uh, let, let's try to atone for that as we make progress here. I'm, I'm playing like way too Northern Lion-y, and I mean that sincerely. Like, there's no excuse to be just skipping items accidentally. Except that it is an accident and people make mistakes, but that's, that's, you know... There's a fine line between making mistakes and just being like consistently careless, and we're getting close to that line if we have not crossed it fully, so... Um, let's just uh, relax, be cool, and try not to... Uh, you know, prove the haters completely right here. Obviously, terrible play against Mega Fatty. I should not be expecting to, or on average, should not be taking that much damage against Mega Fatty, of course. But I am super stoked that we got that Guppy item. We uh, not only is it a Guppy item, it's probably the best Guppy item, and it takes us very, very close to actually finishing the job here. Plus, we got nine lives in case things go terribly wrong. Now, we probably do not qualify for a deal with the Devil here, and that's uh, to be expected, and it's okay. We don't need to deal with the devil. Uh, it would be nice, but it's not necessary. Uh, in fact, we shouldn't be necessarily relying on deals with the devil at this point anyway. You know, we are probably going to have to fight Krampus once, so there's like one deal with the devil down the drain, and we might only get two over the course of the rest of the game. We might even only get one, so uh, I would I would suggest not holding out a ton of hope that that finishes uh, our guppy dream for us, but it could. I... Should at this point know not to stand there, but that's that's a bit more of an honest mistake at least than just forgetting uh, little chub or little Chad on the last floor. Actually, you know what it is is that uh, when you pick up little Chad, it makes it less likely that you get other consumables because red hearts are more likely to drop. So I didn't pick it up because, uh, well, immediately I regret putting on this voice because it's offensive to people who sound like this, and I don't mean to be rude to them. Especially, I'm just using that rudeness to cover up for the fact that I'm embarrassed that I made a mistake. So you know, we're all sensitive people with so much to give. I don't really know what I'm talking about here. Now, I hesitate to say this because I called one run on the last run and we lost because of my own idiocy. But, um, this should be a one run. We're so, so close to it being, like, insurmountably one. That looks like a secret room to me. No bombs. It's okay. Um, we have not seen... Oh, the Gimpy must have paid out with a... Oh, my God. A full spirit heart on that curse room. As I walked out, I just noticed, uh, looking at it right now, that there is a curse room inside of there. Or, sorry, a, a spirit heart inside of the curse room. So if we really rushed for it, we could possibly gain, like, half a spirit heart there. I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. Because I don't think we're in a position to be sweating, like, intermediate level strategy right now. <laughs> I should... I need to, like, redouble uh, my efforts and focus on the fucking basics here. Like, hey, don't forget item. Don't forget item. Item forget bad. Okay. 
That is terrible, man. Thank you to Gimpy for at least turning my mistakes into delicious uh, apple pie here, but man, this is disappointing. I'm gonna go down to the next floor. A little bit of a rush, but my hope is that this does keep us in pace for boss rush if we get a lucky teleport card or something like that. Um, and we're only missing out on, on interstitial rooms, you know, we went to, uh, item room, we went to shop, we might be missing out on a library or something like that. And, uh, the synth oil pickup is big. It's really nice. Obviously can't do anything with that. Oh no, my are you a wizard pill? But yeah, um, we're, we're still so good. I mean, it's a testament to how good 2020 is, and, and synth oil helps out a lot, and, you know, all sorts of stuff along those lines. And we got two keys on this floor that we can use to hopefully accomplish something great. But this is where we'll start looking for a deal with the devil again and hoping for a deal with the devil again. Um, with one bomb, this is a risk, but I'm going to do it anyway. We got a pill. Bad trip. Uh, oh, I forgot. We had little baggies, so we can't get tarot cards. We can only get uh, pills. Such terrible damage. I got to steer into the slump right now. That's the only way to get out. It's like... Uh, you know, if you're driving and you hit the soft shoulder, you gotta just... Don't panic, don't swerve, that'll cause you to spin out or, God forbid, roll over. Instead, you just gotta stay steely, and you gotta be like, Okay, we're gonna be on the shoulder for like the next three or four seconds, let's work with it. We're gonna get ourselves out of here. Uh, are you a wizard? Apparently still a good pill. I might disagree with that, but that's okay. Uh, and let's move along here. That PhD should be great. It actually makes a little baggy... It, it takes a little baggy from almost like objectively, potentially bad to... Uh, possibly really, really useful. Alright. So we're gonna get an orbital. Uh, useful for the mom fight. Not immediately really feeling like this is gonna be a huge benefit for us in other, uh, ways, but still. It's also where we see if we get a deal with the devil. I would totally be okay with Lump of Coal, but let's be honest, the be-all end-all here is picking up a guppy item. We had the paw. We, we have nine lives. And there is a deal with the devil, so that's the first part of the equation handled. We will take the mark. Even though we don't have any HP now, um, the mark is obviously a good pickup. And if we die, it, it doesn't matter that much because we'll come back with one HP anyway that we could use to take a deal with the devil. Also, we have nine lives, so it doesn't matter because uh, if, if the item gives us guppy, that's the only thing that's uh, important. Um, for now, that is not... That's not the only thing that's important, but it's up there. Let's put it that way. The mark pickup is very worthwhile, but this is definitely a, a bit of a harder position than our last run. Which uh, pains me to say, considering it ended up being a loss, but it's okay. You know, there's always every sports team, every uh, every esports team, they got a history of throws, man. All I can try to do is recognize, you know, the, the pathology of a throw and try to get under it before it comes for me here. What's the pathology of a Northern Lion throw in the vein of the last run? It's, it's really just carelessness. Not using that Yarrow rune on the golden chest on the chest is just uh, abysmal. We can afford to use two bombs. This will give us a lot of spiders. Uh, also access to the golden chest. Which gave us a lot of money and a key along with it as well. Uh, cool. We're still looking for our item room. We're still ahead of the curve for the potentiality of boss rush. Even if it shouldn't be the number one thing on my mind right now. And Mom's Eye. Mom's Eye is not very good, because we're never going to hit anything with it, intentionally at least. But there are situations where it can work out for us here. So let's head down to the next floor. This is a big one. Low, low, low deal with the Devil Chance, but... Uh, as long as we can, you know, get ourselves paced up nicely for the womb, this is fine. I don't know what paced up means. It's something to do with salsa, apparently. Uh, let's, uh, let's just go. Haven't had good luck on Second Secret Rooms recently. Alright, we head down. Necropolis 2. It's dangerous. And uh, honestly, knowing that we can't get cards, I'm not as much concerned about... Uh... Eh, that's no good. I'm not as much concerned about Boss Rush. I'm, I've still been talking about like keeping it on our radar here. It's not the kind of thing that makes an enormous difference one way or the other. I would like to blow up uh, as many skulls as possible for pills, because we have PhD. We could get a telepills. I do think that factors into the, the good pill rotation. It has to be in our rotation in the first place, but... There's, oh my god, I almost got hit there. Luck up. This is uh, worth its weight in gold, honestly. And we got a black card out of it. Also extremely useful. Okay, let's move on. Be careful. We're gonna be fine here. Oh, I got another got a direct message here. 
Unfortunately, uh, there's nothing I can do about that right now. Which support is saying, hey, do you want to give us a transcode so we can troubleshoot the issue with your ISP? Unfortunately, uh, I got right back down to work as soon as possible and uh, cannot do that until we finish here. Uh, let's keep moving on. Sorry for constantly checking these messages here, but I gotta keep abreast of the situation because they got, you know, people on my butt being like, hey, when does the show start? When does the show start? When does the show start? And I gotta be like, well, you know, I can, I'm. It's a wait and see kind of issue. Unfortunately. Now, what is awesome for me here is if we can get a, uh, a bomb to drop in the center island there, I'm still gonna do it. I wanted a bomb to drop so it made it, like, guaranteed worth our while. And it was. We got money, basically. Uh, but. Obviously not quite the haul I wanted, and I mean, we've had so many Isaac's rooms lately that we've been unable to get to. It's it's becoming a real drag. Maybe it's time to take a look at our bomb strategy and be like, you know, we should spend less. <laughs> There's one bomb. Okay, we need three to make Isaac's room worthwhile, basically. Or as worthwhile as possible. I think we're going to say now, boss rush, like the boss rush dream is dead. Which is good. It might sound bad, but it's it's a good thing. It allows me to focus on the true priority of just beating the game. We got our third guppy item from a, a golden chest. This is uh, stellar, and now should put us in an unbelievable position to win the game. Now, would I rather have guppy's head or box of spiders? There's... How could I say no to guppy's head here, considering how much faster it works? Like, it works... Sure, spiders do more damage, but guppy's head will work once per room, as opposed to once per two rooms, so... I think that this is a no-brainer. This is great! I mean, we become Guppy again. As is common. We should uh, donate from the back of the machine here. Because I hit it from the back to the melody of Roll It Slow, and then I gotta get up in it fast, but I'm a finish last. No matter how much of a thug you see, I still spit it like it's R&B. Come to the club with me, and when some Luther come on, I hope you still gonna be feeling me and be in love with me. That is actually a really good donation there. We could use the speed. Uh, it's not... Uh, you know, super pivotal to our success, but we should have it regardless. And, uh... We should be able to move along here, and... Unfortunately, we can't get into our shop as a result of the fact that I... used this key to get into the item room instead. But on the bright side, you know, even though we might... Oh, well, we don't have any money anyway, I guess is what I was gonna say, but... Um, on the bright side, we donated regardless, so... At least we've accomplished something here. Yeah, I'd say Boss Rush is a long-distant fairy tale. Uh, let's... We don't have enough to get into Isaac's room, so I think we just fight Mom now. And this is where not only our flies, but also that delicious cube of meat ends up becoming super good for us. Although the fight is going to be over before it even really begins. This is sweet. This is a great situation. We're just going to keep it simple. We're going to win this run, get our confidence back, and start anew. Start anew, and start a new streak. Hopefully. But again, I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that this is like a... It's a wet rope, you know, the tighter we grip, the more it slips through our fingers. Just gotta let the streak happen. Why am I still holding this Are You a Wizard pill? I can't find a good opportunity to to drop it. I don't want to accidentally leave Pulse Worm behind. There is a Tinted Rock on that room. I've been really bad about Tinted Rocks lately. I need to get like, refocused, man. I'm like halfway through the regular season. I'm missing out on all these fundamentals that we, we hammered on in training camp. I don't know why the sports analogies keep coming fast and furious here. Let's continue onwards. I, I think the sports analogies keep coming uh, fast and furious because I'm basically a professional athlete. You know, I, I'm in uh, I'm in fighting shape right now for sure. Uh, I, I found that really just like sitting down for 15, 16 hours a day is like a huge, uh, and then the other part of sleeping is uh, like a really, really good way to keep your your body in shape and your brain too. It's really, I think it's the way nature intended. Let's, uh, slam in granola bars all day. Granola bars, uh, most people don't know this, but they are found in the wild. They grow, uh, in the wilds of Peru. It's in what is called the Nature Valley. Within the Quaker State. Please. 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 Thank you. Good lord. Do we know this pill? We did not know this pill, but now we do, and I'm happy. So we should probably expect to deal with the devil here. Krampus would be fine. Not Krampus would be better. I will take what I can get, honestly, because... Uh, oh, this is a weird room. The last time we said, like, Hey, we're not going to take Brimstone because it makes it too easy. I lost the run, and I'm stupid. So let's uh, 
Let's go in here first before we consider taking that. I'm just going to take Little Brimstone. And then I'm not going to take the HP. I think the HP is actually kind of bad for us. We'll head down to the next floor. That was a deliberate leaving behind of. I, I think that was a, a decision that actually was for the best for us. We did have a couple of other options. Um, we could have killed ourselves and taken the HP. We could have taken the HP into the deal with the devil and paid a red heart instead of three spirit hearts. Which actually might be like objectively the best way to handle it. Or we could do what we did, which was, or we could take nothing, but, or we could do what we did, which was, uh, just pay three spirit hearts for a little brimstone. It's worth it. Was it the best mathematical outcome? Possibly, possibly not. But, uh, I, I think we're, we're still set here either way, and this should be a pretty easy finish. Disappointed we didn't, what is going on with these waves here? I'm disappointed we didn't finish the, uh, the fight before these enemies spawned. But, we are almost done here. What was going on? Mom had like a CD skipping going on there. And we are making amazing time right now. I mean, it's obviously the guppy pickup, but I'm, I'm impressed either way. Um, let's head down. Hoping to find the boss fight as soon as possible. The extra keys are good. Full health is not, unless... There is actually like, there's one easy out for us on this run, and that's if we, uh... If we... Die? Sorry, let's backtrack a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's part of my problem. If we uh, get HP from the chests, we can then die and have two HP when we come back. So we just won't take the HP right away. And then, uh, at, God forbid, you know, we lose a life. We we pick up the HP, and all of a sudden we've got double the HP, which actually allows us to use the full health pill. And, and two HP is like four times better than one HP. It, it operates on like an exponential scale. I will check this out. Two room, rerolls the consumables. I don't mind rerolling the battery. The odds of it being rerolled into something great were not great. Um, but it's worth a shot, you know, they gave us that room. What is up with these rooms, man? I've had such weird room generation lately. Oh, there is a Rio Tinto up here. Really, probably at this point should be saving keys for uh, opening golden chests on the chest, but uh, I got a little bit of a, a gambler streak in me today. And this should be a really, really easy finish here against Isaac. Let's try not to have that Northern Lion thing where, you know, you're in a good position and then take like eight damage on one room and then all of a sudden you're in the worst position in the world and you slowly get whittled down to death by the rest of the game. This is a, a stellar run, maybe even at this point better than our last one. That is not good damage. We'll get in there with a uh, cube of meat though, finish the job. One spear at hard cost to beat Isaac is not bad at all. Okay, finally. <laughs> the chest. Let's do this. Good-ish. Good-ish. Bad and, like, really bad. Um, so I think we're better off with Guppy's head for the start. When we find a tough room, we could just one-shot with, um, with Shears. And then we could... We'll go back for that, of course. We, we could choose to stick with Shears or we could choose to abandon it. I gotta admit this run, you know, obviously I made uh, some incredibly stupid mistakes by just leaving little Chubb behind. Little Chad, I guess. Um, but I'm happy. I've got some new confidence under me. I know I said that last time. One, we're All we can do in our life is try to make it true, you know. I can never promise not to make mistakes, but I, I can promise to try harder. We don't need the full health pit. Like, it doesn't benefit us at all, and neither does uh, Are You a Wizard, of course, but... I'm going to avoid Lard. We will take Lard if we get one more HP upgrade on the floor. My thinking is like, you know, again, one HP is bad. Even though this would leave us temporarily in the in the permanent Polaroid invincibility state because it only gives us a half red heart. Uh, I don't want to risk accidentally picking up a full red heart and, and squandering that invincibility. That's actually pretty useful. But if we get one more HP upgrade, then I will uh, I'll come down for that because I think at that point the HP is more valuable. So this is, uh, there's a very standard finish to this room, I think. Standard order, I should say, and that order is you try to kill Super uh, Pride last in the interest of getting a second nine lives. Obviously didn't work out. We will take that. All we need to do, I, I think honestly, if we make it to Blue Baby with two HP, we can't lose. Because we'll pick up the Shears, and the Shears plus one period of invincibility plus all the free damage that we would do makes it, like, inconceivable, in my opinion, that we would lose. But, 
I have been wrong before, but I don't know. We're, we're definitely going to have more than two HP left. Even if I do handle this fight in the laziest way possible. Okay, let's get this done. We got our flies. Um, we'll go get uh, shears. None of the other stuff there really benefits us. And this is kind of just like your textbook good Eden run. I'm happy to have it. And I'm happy to have a little bit of renewed confidence after uh, what was really like a, a run that prompted some soul searching. That that Ipecac triple shot run, I was like, man, what what happened to my brain? You used to be good at this game, man. What a just a textbook easy finish there. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, of course, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.